Good morning, Henry. Good afternoon. Where are you? Uh, good, 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 good afternoon. I'm in uh, Finland, my, my home right now. So, All right. So we're, uh, what time is it there? Are we looking at, don't tell me. I'm going to guess. Are you six hours ahead? Seven. 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 Yeah. Right. Craig's, Craig's a veteran of Finland. Where, whereabouts right. in Finland are, do you live? Oh, Tampere. Tampere is uh, two hours up north from Helsinki. Oh, very nice. How far away is that from Turku? Oh, uh, say two hours. Two hours. Excellent. Yeah. Why, Craig? Why do you ask him about Turku? Oh, I had the opportunity to play for TPS in the lockout in 2004. And uh, I've been in uh, Turku, Finland, three times in my life. Well, we played the world championships over there in 2003 in Helsinki. Yeah. So uh, anyway, yeah. Where, where so how are you doing? How, uh, what are you doing with your time over there? Uh, just try to stay in the shape. You know, obviously it's uh, tough when you, know, you don't know is a season continuing or is it, is, it, is it done or you know so it's just try to stay in, stay in shape and just stay safe of, of course and uh just hanging out with my family my girlfriend so what are the regulations over there for the coronavirus are you guys quarantined over in finland or are you guys allowed to move around freely uh the first first two weeks for when you come from other other countries than, than Finland, so you have to stay have to stay two weeks in qu quarantine or I don't know how, how you say that word, but uh, so that first two weeks I was just home and just pretty much doing nothing. Maybe you're allowed to go outside and you know that kind of stuff, but I didn't see any any people. It was my family and my girlfriend, and uh, but right now it's, it's you can go like. Shop some groceries if you want, and just it's it's not that bad. What I heard is in the U.S., but uh, of course I'm just trying not to see see my my friends. What is what is kind of sad, you know? You haven't seen them in like a long time, so uh, but yeah. So are you allowed? Are you allowed um, with the um, you know the rules over there? Are you allowed to go uh, train at a gym? Like are the are the ice rinks open over there? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You're you're allowed to go to the gym, and uh, like there's a couple of gyms in my hometown. What is what is open, but there's only only like a athlete over there. So it's still still not too many people. I would say maybe ten, fifteen and, people. And what about what about the ice rinks? The gym. Ice rings are closed, but uh, my uh, we have like a, this kind of private shooting place where we can go shoot, shoot some pucks. So that's the way how I can like still still keep my my little you know touch touch on the ice. That kind of stuff. So you can you can put skates on there too. It's like kind of like a fake ice. If you know what I mean? So you can put skates over there and just shoot some pucks there. So I be. I've been there almost every every second day. Hey, what was the word you uh, you said you didn't really know how to say quarantine? Yeah, yeah. That's, let's that's let's work on that. Say it, say it again. I want to hear how you say it. Quarantine. Oh, you nailed it. All right, so no problem. <laughs> I thought I thought I heard something different last time. Um, let me ask you this, Rick, Craig, on the show here. I, I I don't know. I'm sure you remember meeting us, but Craig has been very complimentary of your uh, your game this season. And how have you felt you've been playing? I mean, a lot of people have been uh, excited about you coming onto the team. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I was as excited as, as some other people as well. I was really excited to join the Buffalo Sabres. I, I, I felt it's a good, good opportunity for me. And I I really love it. It's, it was awesome. Awesome, like... <laughs> it's a tough day because you, you don't know how are we still playing this season but so far it's, it's been good I really been liking playing playing with Buffalo Sabres 
What was the uh, what was the one part of your game that you felt uh, best about? You know, this is your first full year in the National Hockey League at 20 years old. You represented your, yourself extremely well. What was the the one thing that you could say that you took out of this year that you felt was the best part of your game? Um, I feel I feel the two way game like my first first half half year. Where I got sent to AHL, it was I was I was like still moving pretty pretty quick, quick and good. But um, I would say I didn't. I went to the pucks like they chip chip a puck in my corner or somewhere. I I wouldn't get to the puck, and I I felt like I can I can battle like way way better than than the first year. So I feel I feel I think that's one of the biggest things. What makes me like comfortable on the ice? So I, I I knew that I can battle battle with the, all the guys. So it, it was it was more fun, and I, I felt like my defensive defensive zone and defensive plays mo- move it forward this year. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get uh, get hockey back and get you on the ice, and you can continue doing that. What have you been What have you been doing? I mean, I know you mentioned about working out and stuff. But have you been watching? Like, have you been watching any shows? Are, are you doing anything? Do you play any instruments or anything? Oh uh, yeah, I watch some Netflix. Netflix and uh, then I play PlayStation. I think that's about. What's, so what, the, what, what's the, the game the on play? Well, yeah. What's the show? What's the game? The show is the show was uh, Suits, but I just end up watching it. And uh, right now I don't have any shows, so I need to I need to figure out something new. And on the on the PlayStation, I play some Fort, Fortnite and uh, Call of Duty and some FIFA and and the Joe. So kind of lots a lot of different games. So it doesn't get bored. <laughs> so we taught you how to say quarantine. I'm going to teach you something else today. I heard I read on the internet. Don't believe every, number one. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. But number two, yeah, at least some of it. I read that Brad Pitt doesn't like to bathe. Like, he's not really into hygiene. Now, first of all, do you even know who Brad Pitt is? Yeah, 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 the actor. Yeah, what, okay, what's your favorite Brad Pitt movie? Uh, let me think. I, I saw the new one, the Once You Pawn in Hollywood. And that uh, was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Hollywood? Okay. Yeah, but right. that, that was one of the weirdest, weirdest movie I've ever seen. But uh, I don't think, I don't know what's the best one. Well, yeah, I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> so, okay, so he like he doesn't like to shower. Are you a shower every day guy? Yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. Is it the first thing in the morning? Like Riv and I, we get up. We had this conversation earlier with Elliot Friedman. We wake up first thing in the morning. That's the first thing we got to do is hop in the shower. Yeah, I, I usually cause I usually work out every time when I wake wake up, so I don't I don't shower. I, I shower after because I feel like if it's down the shower two times in the morning. Wait, are you just told to say that that you work out first thing in the morning? That's like a line, isn't it? No, it's it's not. I I like like eat a breakfast and go to the gym or shoot shoot some pucks. So I I think. That's the, that's the way how to how to start your day because uh, uh, if you if you start working out like at twelve o'clock, it's when you end up like end up doing that workout, it, it's already like a mid, so you don't have anything to do during the day. So I'd rather rather do my gym gym session or whatever I do in the morning, so it's better. What, what time do you get up? Uh, this morning we started out at ten o'clock in the gym, and tomorrow is nine o'clock. So, hour before working out, usually. What's your cheat food? What? What's what? your cheat? What's your what cheat say? food? Junk food? What do you eat over there when you're like, oh. you know what? I've worked hard today. I want to eat like crap. Yeah, yeah. What do you eat? Uh, Hesburger. Uh, bur- bur- yeah, but burgers and you know. There's like it's so like Phoenix candies are so good. So it's it's always when you when you come back back 
after the season or whenever you're coming back from the U.S., the candies are so much better here. So it's it's actually really dangerous sometimes to come over here and just you just go in the stores and you see so much so much good stuff in the grocery. So it's pretty hard not to buy them, but uh, well, usually the first week is the hardest. So I'm over that. Well, it's good. Our, well, uh, you know what? I might speak for everybody listening, but I think our candy over here is better. Yeah, but I'm from Finland, so uh, obviously I'm like better here. Are you a big fan of the Hess burger over in Finland? Yeah, it, it, it's really good. It, it, it is. It, it's, it's so greasy and good. It's just mayonnaise and every condiment you name. As soon as you take a bite, it's pouring out of it. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's so good. Oh. I love it. It, it. It's actually, I think Hesburger is actually started from Turku. Uh, yes, it was, did. Yes, it did. Oh, oh, there you yeah. go. Cir- all circles back to Turku, eh, Riv? Hey, and we end on yeah. that note. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, hey, okay. Henry, take care. Stay out of Hesburger. Stay in the gym. And uh, <laughs> hopefully we see you guys on the ice soon. Yeah. All right. Thank you.